Hello everyone, welcome to another Python video. In this video, we're going to be solving the greatest common divisor problem. In mathematics, the greatest common divisor of two or more integer, which are not all zero, is the positive, largest positive integer that divides into both of the integers. For example, the GCD of 8 and 12 is 4, and the GCD of 27 and 1080 is 27. So we're going to create a function that does this. And what I've done is taken two numbers, we're assuming they're integer greater than zero, and then we're going to be calculating the greatest common divisor. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for this one, all right, it, by just analyzing this, we, we can have a chance that um, the largest, the greatest common divisor between two numbers can be one of the numbers itself, but it would only make sense if it was a smaller number. So, our starting point of our um, calculation should be the the smallest value between our num1 and num2 so that we can look uh, for the values from that smallest number all the way to one and if we find a common factor that should be the very first one that we find it should be the largest one so let's get started so what we're going to do is say four we're going to have this divider and we're going to see if that divisor is a factor we're going to say in range when we're going to take the minimum of num1 and num2 we're going to be going towards zero and not including and we're going to do a negative one just to step down from our starting point one by one going towards zero okay and then at any point in this loop right now we're going to say well if i find that num1 modulus the divider is equal to zero and num2 modulus divider is equal to zero this tells me that the divider is a common factor between num1 and num2. And based on how we set our range, starting at the minimum of num1 and num2, the first one that actually satisfies this condition should tell us that that is our greatest common divisor. So we can just now execute a return statement here to say that, well, I don't need to loop anymore. The function doesn't need to execute any more code. We're just going to return that divider. And I write an end of for loop. Now, this statement isn't necessary but just for uh, like good common practice we're gonna say we'll return one all two numbers should have the greatest common divisor of one and that is our code just to say that well just in case that something went wrong and didn't return this value of a divider we will always return one in this scenario okay so let's actually test our code with two values okay the GCD of, of 4 and 12 is GCD 412. And then we're going to try this with 27 and 1080 just to test our code. So we get that GCD of 4 and 12 is 4, and that 27 and 1080 ends up becoming 27. Uh, I think this was a terrible test. Let's try 8 and 12, just to make sure that we get 4 there. And we do, we get 4. And between 27 and 1080, 27 ends up being the lowest common, uh, the greatest common divisor. Okay. And what I want to now show you is another solution, another function that actually solved this, and it's called the Euclidean algorithm using recursion. So um, the concept of algorithms is a uh, concept that we will study in the future where we will be looking at um, made and tailor-made solutions to common problems such as searching and sorting and whatnot. And when we create these solutions that are proven to be very effective, we end up calling them algorithms because they're so good and um, they were designed really well to solve those types of problems. Okay, so this Euclidean algorithm is a, a solution to the uh, the greatest common divisor, and it actually uses the concept called recursion, which is another type of iteration that we can do in Python and in programming. Okay, and this is our greatest common divisor um, that uses recursion to solve um, GCD. So we can just test that out as well. Right. So I'm just going to do e underscore. So we're making sure that we're executing these. And then there you go, we get four and 27. So this looks very, um, I would say, um, minimalistic almost, right? Uh, compared to our use of for loop and find, using the min and creating a range and all that stuff. Where this, it just really relies upon the concept of using a modulus and um, we're running this code until it runs zero. 
Okay, so this was a really nice intro to two things that we're going to learn in the future, uh, recursion and uh, multiple algorithms that we'll learn that are fundamental in study of computer science. So within the study of computer science, we do design and you try to learn from algorithms so that um, you can take parts from an algorithm, improve upon it and create new algorithms, or you try to learn that um, uh, what did the algorithm do to make it make their solution so effective at what they do. So that is the main purpose of studying algorithms. And recursion is a very um, fundamental way of creating functions, um, executing iterations without use of while or for loop. And it is another fundamental topic of a different programming paradigm called functional programming. So it is another important topic in the realm of computer science, okay? So uh, if you're interested, I, I suggest that you uh, have a little read through of the Euclidean algorithm for solving greatest common divisor, but it is not a mandatory thing to read. Um, this is a perfectly valid solution for our programming level so far. So um, as always, thank you for watching and stay classy.